NASA was founded on the 29th of July, 1958 with the mission of examining, entering, and ultimately exploring outer space. In the 64 years that NASA has been monitoring the skies above us, the organization has captured some pretty impressive photographs and videos. We're going to be looking at the most magnificent of them in today's video. And so if you keep crying, you just end up with a bigger and bigger ball of water. Here are 15 incredible things caught by NASA. Mm -hmm. Sun spits plasma. Sunspots are dark patches that appear on the photosphere of the sun. Their origin isn't entirely understood and we're sure even the most tenured scientists would struggle to explain how they're formed without conducting a 10-hour lecture. We're tenured non-scientists, so it's going to be even harder to summarize the cause of this amazing phenomena. To grossly oversimplify things, let's just say that sunspots are caused when the sun's magnetic field goes haywire and knocks out some lights on the surface. It leaves the sun looking kind of like a television that has some dead pixels. Make sense? No? Don't worry, we don't fully understand it either. What we do understand, however, is the attention the following piece of footage has been receiving. The stunning video caught by NASA shows a sunspot belching out massive balls of plasma, which is not actually all that unusual. What is unusual is for a sunspot to do so as ferociously as the one we're seeing here. Labeled by NASA as AR-2987, this sunspot released a gigantic fireball and sent it hurtling in the direction of Earth at a speed of millions of miles an hour. By the time the ball collided with our planet, it was moving so quickly and so powerfully that it triggered a disturbance in the atmosphere and even enhanced the effect of the northern lights, much to the delight of superintendents everywhere. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Okay guys, before we move on to our next entry, let's take a look at today's missing topic. NASA captures a lot of mind-blowing footage. In fact, some of the courageous whistleblowers who have worked for the organization have claimed that NASA captures what no one was supposed to see. Many of the photos and videos taken by NASA are created to document highly confidential experiments and interactions. They're never intended for public view. From time to time, however, a photo stolen from NASA's vault will find its way to the outside world. This photo is said to be one of them. Here we see a mysterious spacecraft that looks eerily similar to the metal flying saucers that were so regularly reported in the skies of North America during the first half of the 20th century. A few portions of the craft's exterior are missing and reveal the carefully placed metal bars beneath. This could mean one of two things. The first explanation is that this vehicle came from another planet and was captured by NASA after a devastating crash. The second potential explanation is that NASA was constructing the spacecraft itself and simply hadn't installed the missing panels yet. Then again, there's always the possibility that this photograph was staged by a dastardly troll just trying to get a rise out of the UFOlogy community. What do you think is more likely? Let us know in the comments using the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Mysterious Magnetic Wave The Earth's magnetic field is generated deep within the center of the planet and reaches far into outer space. Its extension into the universe protects our planet from radiation and the harmful effects of the sun. It also grants us a fascinating insight into life back here on Earth. NASA monitors our planet's magnetic field using satellites to detect fluctuations and irregularities. The organization has been doing this for years, so scientists were beginning to think that major discoveries about Earth's magnetic field were a thing of the past. Then, in May of 2022, NASA satellites captured something shocking, an entirely new magnetic field. After picking their jaws up off the floor, researchers named this novel magnetic wave Magneto Coriolis and got to work studying its mysterious nature. It was determined that the wave runs across the Earth's outer core at a speed of 930 miles an hour each year. Even more shocking was the discovery that the wave is generated every seven years, a drastically shorter interval that was initially assumed. There's still so much for us to learn about this mysterious magnetic wave and scientists are actively researching it every day. And who knows, maybe this research will lead to more stunning discoveries about the nature of Earth's magnetic field. <laughs> Wandering Black Hole The Hubble Space Telescope is a truly wonderful piece of technology. Hovering a full 340 miles above the Earth's surface and orbiting our planet 15 times a day, 
the telescope has revolutionized space exploration. It's allowed NASA to make some amazing discoveries. Unfortunately, these discoveries aren't always all that wholesome. Take this wandering black hole, for example. Scientists have long theorized that our universe is home to a number of rogue black holes that move through space and swallow up everything they encounter. This was a difficult theory to prove, but NASA managed to do so after six years of observation identified one of these black holes moving even further from its initial location. With half a century of research finally paying off, NASA had a reason to celebrate, or at least it would have had it had it not also been determined that the wandering black hole was heading in Earth's direction. When the black hole reaches our point in the solar system, Earth is almost definitely going to be sucked into it. That's the bad news. Thankfully, the good news is that NASA estimates this particular wandering black hole is more than 5,000 light years away. So by the time it encounters our planet, the human race will probably be entirely extinct already. Isn't that reassuring, kids? <laughs> Trash on Mars Every year, more than 50 billion pieces of litter are carelessly tossed onto the street, and that's just in the United States of America alone. We can't even imagine how high that number must be worldwide. The incalculable quantity of litter that's dominating Earth is one of the main reasons so many people are in favor of human beings colonizing a new planet in the near future. But little do these people know, some of us have already been busy doing a bit of interplanetary dumping. Half a century of space missions has created more than a few pieces of space debris and NASA has captured the images to prove it. Photographs taken by NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter show the leader left behind by the organization's Perseverance rover, which landed on the Red Planet in the summer of 2020. Most of this trash consists of discarded gear used by the rover during the landing process, including its external shell and its sprawling, heavy-duty parachute. The abandoned landing equipment joins 500,000 pounds of moon garbage as humanity's space travel legacy thus far. We have also left more than 3,000 disused satellites in orbit, and that number is growing larger every year. Hopefully, there will come a time when we can venture out into outer space with our pickers and high-vis vests and clean up the mess we've made up there. <laughs> Tarantula Nebula About 160,000 light years removed from our planet sits the Tarantula Nebula. Despite being located so unimaginably far away from us, this massive cloud of gas has been studied extensively by NASA's top researchers. Over the course of many years of study, these researchers have gained numerous fascinating insights into the formation of stars, as well as into the nature of our universe as a whole. Recent images captured by NASA show the Tarantula Nebula like we've never seen it before. Revealed to the public as recently as June 2022, these pictures document the stunning birth of stars, some of which are 150 times the size of our sun. NASA commissioned a number of composite sketches alongside the actual photographs of the Tarantula Nebula. These artistic renditions help lay people like us to wrap our heads around the magnitude of the Tarantula Nebula and its role in creating the largest stars ever discovered by the human race. Of course, even with these sketches, we're never going to be able to fully comprehend the size and magnificence of it, but that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy NASA's breathtaking footage. <laughs> Alien Megastructure The stars of the Tarantula Nebula may be the largest in our universe, but they certainly aren't the most mysterious. That title belongs to Tabby Star. Tabby Star was named after Tabitha Boyajian, who worked as an assistant astronomer at Louisiana State University Department of Physics and Astronomy. During her time at the university, she played a role in the discovery of a star located more than a thousand light years from our planet. Along with its impressive size, the star was noteworthy for being 1,000 degrees hotter and 50 times bigger than our sun. As she and her research partner studied the star, they noticed that it was not behaving as a regular star should. It seemed to be dimming and brightening at unpredictable intervals and on several occasions remained almost entirely invisible for days at a time. When the star eventually decreased its brightness by more than 20%, she finally decided that something was definitely not right. She speculated that a large object must have been blocking the glow of the star. Now, when she voiced this theory, she was talking about space debris or an undiscovered planet eclipsing it. UFOologists, however, assume the only culprit for the star's random dimming and brightening could be some sort of alien megastructure. The exact appearance and purpose of this megastructure was never determined. All believers in the theory knew that it was large enough to block the glow of Tabby's star for long periods of time. Some even suggested that the star itself was an alien megastructure and was capable of manually controlling its lighting. She had obviously rejected those theories, but that doesn't make discussing them any less fun. 
<laughs> astronauts don't cry. Big girls and astronauts. Two things that don't cry. That's if you believe what Frankie Valley and NASA have to say. So what is it that stops astronauts from crying? Are they simply so brave and strong that they don't feel emotions the way us crybaby Earth dwellers do? No, it's not that. As a matter of fact, an astronaut could kind of cry in space were they to hear something devastating or become overwhelmed by sheer beauty of the cosmos. Tears would indeed well up in their eyes. However, the lack of gravity in space would prevent these tears from running down the individual's face as they would here on Earth. Instead, the tears would come out like globs of jelly, as astronaut Chris Hadfield showed us during a 2013 space mission. In a video uploaded to YouTube, Hadfield discussed the possibility of crying in space and after explaining that he was unable to cry on command, produced a container of drinking water and placed a few drops into his pupil. Just as expected, the water formed a jiggling ball slightly below the astronaut's eye and remained there, increasing in size as Hadfield continued to add drops to it. At one point, he slightly turned his head, which caused the water to cross over to the other side of his face and made him look like a human lava lamp. The footage is absolutely mesmerizing and is still available in full online. We definitely suggest seeking it out if you haven't seen it already. Red Rectangle Nebula The Tarantula Nebula isn't the only nebula deserving of a spot in this video. For this next entry, we're going to be paying a visit to the equally amazing and far less menacingly named Red Rectangle Nebula. While the Tarantula Nebula isn't actually home to any tarantulas, the Red Rectangle Nebula is indeed red in color and rectangular in shape. Even after studying the nebula for many years, NASA has been unable to conclude what gives it such a strange color and shape. In fact, even NASA's senior figures will not dare to speculate where that mysterious red glow comes from. Thankfully, they've managed to come up with a theory to explain the nebula's shape. They've suggested that the rectangular appearance of the nebula is caused by thick clouds of gas and dust blocking certain areas of it from our view. While many of NASA's higher-ups don't want to risk humiliation by putting forth an entirely inaccurate theory for the red colors that give the Red Rectangle Nebula its name, there's increasing speculation that they could at least partly be the result of hydrocarbon molecules. If hydrocarbon molecules are indeed present here, it could mean that the Red Rectangle Nebula has the potential to create life. <laughs> Spaceman and Electric Car We've talked about Elon Musk and his magnificent space car in previous videos, but let's just do a quick catch-up for viewers who may not have seen those earlier releases. Basically, when SpaceX was preparing to send the Falcon Heavy rocket into orbit, it had to choose a heavy object for its cargo in order to adequately test the rocket's payload. Elon Musk decided to use his very own Tesla Roadster for this purpose, because of course he did. The car was carried into outer space by the Falcon Heavy in February 2018, with the dummy passenger fitted in the driver's seat. Even though the Tesla Roadster remained in orbit as an artificial satellite, sightings of the vehicle were not reported all that often. Then in 2020, NASA finally captured footage of the car as it passed by Mars. The resulting images were breathtaking. They show the dummy driver sitting behind the wheel, clad in full astronaut garb, while a small screen on the dashboard reads, Don't Panic. In the distance, we can see the red planet in all its glory playing only a supporting role in space footage for the first time in its existence. Other images show a very similar scene playing out with our little blue planet replacing Mars as the backdrop. The visual is spectacular and must be seen to be fully appreciated. It's almost like looking at an intergalactic Banksy stencil. Door on Mars Anytime NASA unveils new images of Mars, the dedicated UFOologists of the internet immediately begin pouring through them in search of signs of alien life most of these searches don't yield noteworthy results, but one recently released photograph has sent self-styled ET investigators into overdrive. Upon first glance, this picture isn't all that impressive. It shows us the harsh, sandy terrain of Mars, which we have long grown accustomed to. But when you zoom in, an anomaly presents itself just to the left of center. As excited UFO enthusiasts were quick to point out, there appears to be a door cut into the Mars mountain. NASA was quick to brush off the alleged doorway, claiming it's simply the result of erosion. But erosion usually leaves much rougher holes and crevices. This doorway, if that is indeed what it is, looks to be smooth and cleanly carved, suggesting it was very deliberately created. But who could be responsible for it? Is this the doorway to a hidden alien lair? Or has NASA already established a headquarters on the Red Planet? Hmm. 
water bears. What you're looking at now is a picture of an unusual creature known as a tardigrade. Because of its unique, otherworldly appearance, it's easy to assume that the tardigrade is some strange alien creature. In reality, this animal is a product of our own planet and can be found in ecosystems throughout the world. Also known as a water bear, it's able to survive in virtually any environment and can endure both extreme heat and freezing temperatures with ease. Given the animal's indestructible nature, NASA recently decided that the tardigrade would be the perfect creature to some of the harshest reachable points in our solar system. The aim of the mission was to establish exactly how tardigrades adapt to high-stress environments and to determine if similar methods could be used by astronauts during long journeys in unfavorable conditions. The results of the research captured by NASA are still pending, but early indications suggest that tardigrade proteins could be used to sustain crops, medicines, and human life, not just in space, but down here on Earth as well. <laughs> Honey behaving strangely. A little earlier on, we looked at astronaut Chris Hadfield and his video on the bizarre workings of tears in space. As you probably guessed, tears are not only non-solid entities that behave strangely in microgravity, as Canadian astronaut David St. Jock recently proved, honey can also be affected by being sent into orbit in an incredible video taken on board the International Space Station. He produces a typical jar of honey before opening it to some very atypical results. Despite being held sideways, the honey does not come oozing out of its jar as it would here on Earth. Instead, it remains firmly fixed inside the container with one long and thick strand connecting it to the lid, which he is holding in the other hand. The astronaut takes a couple of seconds to play with the strand of honey, twisting it into a corkscrew and letting it float freely in zero gravity. Given that we're literally watching a grown man play with his food, it's easy to forget the sheer brilliance of this video. We're literally watching a human being do something that's entirely impossible on our planet. Man was not meant to ever experience such a situation, yet here it is, playing out before our very eyes with no Photoshop or special effects required. Hmm. <laughs> The Golden Record The traditional view of extraterrestrials is that if they do exist, they're already aware of the human race and have been documenting and maybe even participating in our progress for hundreds of years. Maybe there's intelligent life in the universe. But what if it isn't aware of us? How would we introduce ourselves to an alien race that just happened to stumble upon Earth with no prior knowledge of our existence? NASA gave this some serious thought and came up with a pretty genius answer. The Voyager Golden Record The Voyager Golden Record is essentially a time capsule containing some of humanity's greatest artistic achievements. Like a playlist sent to a new partner, it's loaded with the songs that define us, from Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good to The Magic Flute by Mozart. It also contains greetings in more than 50 languages and images documenting both daily life and once-in-a-millennia achievements. With the golden record, NASA has truly captured the essence of the human race for the entire galaxy to enjoy. Our new planet Given that human beings have already started dumping litter on Mars, the red planet may not be the best option for a future colonization program. Thankfully, that isn't a problem as researchers have already identified another planet that could serve as our new home. That planet is Ross 128b. Ross 128b is located about 11 light years away, which means it's quite a bit further from us than Mars. Despite this, however, it boasts much better chances of sustaining human life. Ross 128b's orbit sits much closer to its parent star than the Earth does to the Sun. However, that parent star is nowhere near as large or as bright as our Sun. So Ross 128b's solar radiation levels are pretty similar to what we're used to here on our little blue planet. Similarly, Earth and Ross 128b are believed to share the same surface temperature. This would mean that our potential new planet could host water. That is, of course, as long as it has an atmosphere. NASA hasn't been able to establish whether or not Ross 128b has an atmosphere just yet, but research and early findings are positive. As we learn more and more about this planet and whether or not it's habitable, we may have to stop wondering if it could sustain life and start wondering if it's already doing so. It could be a catastrophic disaster if humans were to land on the planet only to discover it's already home to intelligent life. After everything we've done to our home planet, we probably wouldn't be too warmly welcomed by the natives of Ross 128b. 
parallel universe. If you've ever watched the animated television series Rick and Morty, you're no doubt familiar with the theory that our universe is one in an infinite number of parallel universes. Actually, you're probably familiar with that theory even if you haven't watched the series, as it's been propagated by certain French scientists for decades. For the longest time, the idea that there are alternative dimensions out there was written off as mere fancy. Mainstream science brushed the theory away as the only idea more outrageous than the existence of extraterrestrial life. Anybody who dared to research the topic was blacklisted from the scientific community. Over the past couple of decades, however, the attitude towards this theory has been changing, and recent research from a team of scientists at Durham University is given the idea the fuel it needs to penetrate mainstream scientific thought. According to the lead researcher, Professor Tom Shanks, a mysterious cold spot in our universe may not be a cosmic void as scientists have long assumed. Instead, Shanks suggests that it's a bruise left behind by our universe colliding with another similar universe before it was fully formed. As with most theories about the origins of the universe, Shanks' hypothesis is pretty much impossible to prove, but an increasing number of respected authorities in the scientific community are acknowledging its plausibility and that in itself is incredible. Okay guys, that does it for this look at some of the most incredible things captured by NASA we looked at a total of 15 mind-blowing occurrences. Some were nothing less than breathtaking, such as the massive stars of the Tarantula Nebula, and some were deeply concerning, such as the trash left behind on Mars. But which of these entries did you find the most noteworthy and why? Make sure you subscribe to our channel and stick around for more great videos.